Good morning. Today is Monday, May 4th. It's the start of our sixth week of school from home. This is over the hump day, so we are now more than halfway through to the end of the school year. So hang in there, you can do it. On Thursday, May 7th at 7 p.m., music students throughout our community are doing music for moms. Play any kind of music at seven o'clock on your front porch, your front sidewalk, in front of your apartment, anywhere in front of your house or apartment, and make some beautiful music for moms at seven o'clock on May 7th. I remind you again that lunch and breakfasts are available every to every student in our community. Um, they can be picked up from 11 to one at entrance C20 at the high school, drive through on Horseman Drive, right under the skywalk, and thank Mr. Fetchko and Mr. Saban for doing that for us. A reminder of our uh, big six health hygiene reminders. So first, wash your hands often for 20 seconds or longer. Cover your mouth or nose when you sneeze or cough. <clears throat> uh, avoid touching your face whenever possible. Clean high touch surfaces. Practice good social distancing, so stay at home as much as you can. Keep at least six feet between you and others if you must go out and wear a mask in public places when you go out to the store or when you go out to the pharmacy. So many people may be experiencing strong emotions such as fear, anxiety, frustration related to this health threats and the social and economic consequences of COVID-19. There are steps you can take to lessen such stress both in the short term and the long term. So here are a few tips and seven to be exact. Number one, realize that it is understandable to feel anxious and worried about what may happen, especially when aspects of life are uncertain or have changed. Two, make time to unwind and remind yourself that strong feelings are tolerable and will fade. Accept instead of suppress emotions and ride that wave of strong feelings by observing how they show up in your body. Number three, if you find you're getting stressed by watching news, reduce your exposure, particularly prior to sleep. Number four, pace yourself between stressful activities and do something fun uh, after you do a hard task. Number five, relax your body and mind. Practice slow, steady breathing and muscle relaxation, as well as other soothing actions, such as meditation or yoga or just going out for a walk or listening to music or reading for pleasure. Number six, maintain a sense of hope. Consider keeping a journal where you write down things you are grateful for or things that are going well. And seven, engage and savor pleasant activities like heading wishbone here. That's a pleasurable activity for me. So have no doubt, we are going to get through this. There are a lot of smart, energetic, and thoughtful people guiding us through this difficult time. And working together, we're going to get through this. So now time for our mindful moments. So what is mindfulness? So here's one good definition I found. Mindfulness is the combination of awareness, centering, and being present. It is the awareness of your thoughts, emotions, actions, and energy. It, it is the ability to get centered and stay centered in all situations. And it is the ability to be present, not letting internal or external distractions take you from the current moment. So this leads to the development of empathy, compassion, love, balance, and harmony. So that's a nice definition I found of mindfulness recently. So let's do a quick calming activity with our snow globe and wishbone. Let's see if we can get wishbone to calm down just a little bit. So remember, we use this just as a little tool. It's very simple but effective. And what we do is we shake up our snow globes and we just sit and watch all the pieces settle down for a minute.
So sometimes just taking that simple little pause is good for our minds and ultimately good for our bodies. So if you haven't made a snow globe or found a snow globe, you can just watch this. Again, a simple yet effective way to calm the mind and body a little bit. So let's move on to our meditation. And remember, our meditation time is always an invitation. The more often we do it or practice it, the stronger our mind becomes. So sit and relax. You can pray, contemplate, just rest, whatever you can do just to take a pause. So let's start in our usual way. Let's put our feet flat on the floor. Find a comfortable position to sit in. Sit up straight. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes. You can just look down at the ground. And let's take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And just return your breathing to normal. And let's see what we notice in this space, in this place. What sounds can we hear? What smells? And let's check in with our bodies. Let's first start with generally how we feel today. And let's scan down from the top of our head to the bottom of our toes. So start at the top of the head, down through the neck and the shoulders, the upper back, the lower back, the sit bones, the thighs, the knees. the shins, the ankles, the toes, firmly planted into the floor. Let's see if we can feel our breath expanding and contracting. That may be in your belly, it may be in your chest. And if it's helpful, you can put your hand on your belly. It'll expand and contract. Expand and contract. And if we get distracted, if our mind goes someplace else, gently bring it back to the breath, our anchor. Again, if we get distracted, that's normal. Just gently guide your mind back to your breath, expanding and contracting. And let's bring ourselves back into the space, the sounds, the smells. <laughs> Let's take one deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's put a smile on our face. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Ah.
What a great way to start our Monday. Again, it's over the hump day. You've all almost made it through. And so as we end every morning, you can do a little mindful self-compassion. You can either give yourself a hug, put your hand on your heart, <laughs> old wishbone, and repeat quietly to yourself, may I be happy, may I be healthy, and may I be peaceful. Have a great day, everybody.